Now we also passed a measure regarding PISCES, our Pacific International Space Center for Exploration Systems, which is currently based in Hilo. Correct? Yes. This was a, a program that actually started with the same bill that you passed, Senate Bill 907 in 2007, that established our aerospace office. And the goal is to, um, through this bill, appropriate general funds uh, and also obligation bonds to support the operation and build out of this Pacific International Space Center for Exploration uh, Systems to facilitate multinational research and education to promote and enable the human settlement of space. The basic goal is to establish a world-class center of excellence for space exploration that will promote research and education uh, that ultimately will enable sustainable human settlement of space. And we're talking four areas in which uh, Pisces is currently working. Scientific research and commercial development, in situ resource utilization, robotics, energy, material science, agriculture, and other technologies that are being explored um, at the center. Uh, testing and evaluating new technologies to support both robotic and human missions um, beyond uh, low Earth orbit. Education and training programs, uh, aerospace curricula, space seminars, design challenges to inspire and uh, educate the next generation of space scientists, engineers, and entrepreneurs. And finally, to promote multinational dialogue and exchange through annual conferences, uh, building public-private partnerships that can take us uh, to the frontiers of space. Now, ACT 1669 provides 1.8 four million in uh, bonds and 500,000 in general funds to establish and maintain a permanent base of operations for Pisces on the Big Island. These facilities will act as uh, an international hub for corporate, government, and university participants to design, develop, test, and evaluate new technologies that can support future robotic and human missions to space. Uh, their presence in Hawaii will bring new training opportunities and jobs uh, in, in both uh, uh, and a variety of technical and trade fields, and, and Pisces will continue to work with local organizations to facilitate a labor pipeline to facilitate uh, the training of local residents in these areas. Pisces will also have, as it's having now, broad impacts in education in Hawaii, uh, inspiring uh, students in STEM fields, enabling robotics programs at the college level to complement uh, some of those outstanding robotics programs we already have in high schools. Um, the Big Island is really the world's premier site for this, uh, to test and validate these uh, technologies because we have the most lunar and Martian-like terrain on this planet, uh, on the Big Island. Uh, Hawaii's volcanic terrain and basaltic geology are nearly identical to what's on the Moon and Mars. And um, uh, exploration of the Moon and Mars can also tell us a lot about the history of evolution on Earth. So a lot of benefits here to doing this kind of research. And the technologies that are going to be tested and evaluated at Pisces, and we're talking construction, clean energy, energy and food sustainability, waste recycling and reclamation, power transmission, building and roadway construction with basaltic materials will also have direct application and benefits to the Earth. So it's really a two-way street here. Mm -hmm. Now, Yes, and basically the vision is to create on the Big Island this hub of exploration and research and almost like a mini Silicon Valley type of industry where we will have companies investing and creating these high paying jobs, jobs in science, technology, engineering and mathematics, robotics, um, so that um, our children, our um, adults can have these high paying opportunities without having to go elsewhere. Exactly, and I like to look at it as, as a Petri dish in which uh, we provide the dish with a very rich agar and a number of things crawl into it and amazing programs crawl out of it like Pisces. So Hawaii does have that tremendous potential. Mm -hmm. this, this picture that you see on the screen now is a shot of uh, the field test that Pisces has been running on the Big Island. We've had actually three sets of field tests now. Uh, what you're looking at now are actually pictures from 2008 in which Carnegie Mellon came out to Hawaii to test their Scarab rover, which was uh, developed in uh, consultation and collaboration with Jet Propulsion Lab at the University of Hawaii. Also extracting water and oxygen from the regolith. Uh, demonstrating that it can be done here means that when astronauts get to the moon and to Mars, they'll be able to pull water out of these rocks and have a sustainable colony on, on their surfaces. And then centering regolith, being able to meld these uh, materials on the surface to provide construction materials right. to build habitats. Yeah, basically, uh, when humankind does establish a colony on the moon, 
uh, we're going to have to start from scratch, as you said. And we're not going to be able to bring up concrete and jugs of water. I went right. to one of the tests in 2008, and it was amazing to see how literally they scooped up some of the earth, the regolith, it went through the machine, mm -hmm. and the byproduct or the end product was water. Yes. Um, it was dirty water, of course. However, it was water, and through further research and experimentation, eventually that water will become pure and clean so that um, people can drink it. And, and those are the exciting things that are happening on the Big Island today. Most definitely. And what we're proving is that we can develop sustainable settlements beyond low Earth orbit, which is a priority for Congress and the President. Okay. Why don't we go ahead and move on to the next slide? Sure. Well, this is a concept uh, framework for space enterprise that Pisces is actually helping pioneer, and this is to develop a, eventually, a research park on the lunar surface uh, that can support uh, advances in science and education, commercial development. For the past 50 years, we've focused a lot on um, space research and exploration with the Apollo program, Hayabusa mission to asteroids, spirit and opportunity on Mars. But the next 50 years looks very promising in terms of space development and utilization. That's how we're going to build these sustainable programs with the manned and robotic missions to the moon, to asteroids, and to Mars. Uh, the concept for an international lunar research park, the way we we envision it, it will be the next giant leap with all mankind, an international effort. Uh, and we have a three phase build out in mind, beginning with the terrestrial prototype developed at Pisces in Hawaii, leading to a lunar robotic village on the surface of the moon, and finally those robots helping build human rated modules so humans themselves can return to the moon. And we do have a space act agreement in place with NASA right now to develop basically phase one analog facilities on the Big Island that could serve as the terrestrial prototype. And when you mentioned the word robotics many times within your conversation, uh, you and I know that robotics within our public schools has just taken off. Um, yes. At the elementary school level, the middle school level, and the high school. Definitely. So what I'd like to eventually see is some type of robotics institute created within our state where Excellent our idea. students can be able to educate themselves from elementary school all the way to the college university level. Definitely. And with Pisces and with a lunar research park, you know, we can be the premier site in terms of robotic research and experimentation, I am hoping. Definitely.